Hello viewers, welcome to some D class action. So who doesn't love the D? I've been loving the D this week. Um, I've been doing a little bit of it more recently. The, so the slower racing seems to bring out better racing because you've got more time to react. Um, the racing is a lot closer as well, so I've been enjoying it. Um, so this is a race using the 2016 Mazda MX-5 around uh, Lime Rock Park, of course. We are using the alternative layout with the chicanes, which makes it very interesting. Um, so the first chicane of which is the next turn after this one. So I'm in fifth position. We've got a bit of a breakaway group here with the two guys behind us. So this top seven have formed a massive gap over the rest of the pack. So this is the first of the chicanes. You have to use a lot of the curb if, if you really want to maximize your speed. Now coming into the second chicane, it looks like we've got a two by two formation as we head in there. I predict some carnage, let's see if it happens, and actually, um, not really, on the exit maybe, actually yes it does, on the exit, the Renault Clio making contact there and going wide, which grants me second position, gaining three in the space of 0.2 seconds, so uh, chasing down a Toyota Celica here, I actually um, don't quite have enough top, uh, top end speed in this Mazda MX-5, it is a very good handling car which as we know Lime Rock Park is very much a handling circuit but in a race as close as this one sometimes you do need that slight bit extra speed as long as you can handle the car uh, maybe that extra speed down the straight does help so through halfway through lap two now keeping with the Celica as we approach the first of the chicanes once again I've developed a small gap now to the guys behind but it's always going to be a very close race in uh, D class, so he doesn't quite go over the curb there, and I take uh, take advantage of that, get a lot closer to him. But again, look at that acceleration; it gets a better drive than I do out of there. The guys behind are battling as well. As we go into the second chicane, let's go quite late on the apex here, so a very late apex, and then you can just put two wheels onto that curb or four wheels, as I just did. And I believe that is a clean lap if you at least keep two wheels on that curb. Uh, if you go forwards onto the grass then that is of course dirty and you shouldn't really be doing that but we move on to lap number three and you can see there once again um, the guy in the Celica has got a, a bit of an edge over me on the straight um, but I didn't get the best of exit through the final turn um, and the guys behind have actually gone um, gone away a little bit if you want to say that uh, the Celica actually goes over the grass a little bit they're going a little bit too eager on the a throttle pedal coming out of that turn, up turn number one, and I had that annoying thing. This happens to me quite a lot, where I make contact with the curb with my inside wheels, and it actually throws you a little bit wide. So you don't want to take these curbs too much sometimes, especially that um, turn number three. I'm getting a good chicane there, keeping in touch again with the Celica, but always um, seemingly too far away to go for a move. Pull up very nicely through the chicane. And as we approach the final turn, it's uh, got very, very close now. So as we head through the final turn, the top four are separated by around 200 feet, which is very, very small. And actually, uh, the uh, Renault Clio is actually coming back now after having an incident on lap one. So he's back through into third, and I'm surrounded by members of the CKC clan, as we can see on the, uh, on the left-hand side of the screen there. So, are they going to be doing team tactics here? Are they going to try... Is he going to try and back me up to let his teammate try and overtake me? Or is it not like that? I don't think... That's, that Maybe that's a bit too complex. I don't think he's going to do that. He's probably just going to try and race his own race. I hope his teammate can just do the business on me. So he's learned to take a bit more curb there as I have followed him through. Lap 4 now, We're approaching the end of the race and I've developed a bit of a gap there too. Uh, the Renault Clio behind and into the chicane again I do uh, catch up quite nicely going for a late apex keeping two wheels on that curve just about and as we head into turn number I don't even know turn number final because it's the final turn and that was not a very good joke at all so as we come into the end of lap four onto lap five the race actually come a little bit spread here but I do like these races because it does become a race of of consistency and attention you really do have to pay a lot of attention in these races it's gonna get very interesting here 
because we've got a back marker. It always throws a spanner into the works when a back marker shows up. You just never know what you're going to get with a back marker. You don't know if they're just going to let you go um, fairly as they should do or if they're going to hold you up. So he's going to swerve across very late and cut the grass there and smash into the tire wall. He actually collected me and fortunately didn't take me out completely. Of course there's no simulation damage but that could have been a lot worse. I could have been spun around there but fortunately avoiding that um, incident there uh, gaining actually quite nicely on the Saliga. He goes slightly defensive where he thinks about doing it anyway. But it's going to be um, a second position here. Actually not a bad race given that um, I think this MX-5 was a little bit underpowered. Uh, third and fourth uh, giving me a run for my money behind. So even though there wasn't much overtaking after lap one, it was still quite an interesting race. Especially with that back marker. Um, thrown into the mixer right at the end there making it a bit more interesting but that is going to bring this video to a close i hope you have enjoyed it remember to subscribe if you want to see more of the same and hit the like button if you did like this video hope to bring some more d-class action soon so thank you very much for watching guys thank you to all 16,000 subscribers that i now have the sub count is really going up quite nicely now so welcome to all of the new subscribers, thank you to all the old ones who have been here for a long time. And that's going to be the end from me. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.